This is a secret. Right now, secrets revealed from one of Kentucky's favorite Mexican restaurants. It's the best. We're making jalapeno bacon wrapped shrimp that's guaranteed to please. That's something anybody could do at home. Plus, we're taking tacos to the next level with authentic Mexican pork. Love you can't it. take that off the menu, right? No. No. <laughs> no. It's all right now in front of a live studio audience on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Hi, everybody, and welcome into Paris Town. I'm Kevin Harnett, along with my broadcast partner, Tim Laird, and we're glad you've decided to join us for this edition of Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs right here in Kitchen Theater. And, Kevin, it's a great day to be in Kitchen Theater, especially if you're a fan of Mexican food. And who is it, right? I am. Our special guest today is a man whose name is synonymous with quality Mexican cuisine in the Louisville area, Gustavo Reyes the culinary mind behind Gustavo's Mexican Grill. What started as a single restaurant in Oldham County has now grown into a half dozen local locations, and that's a testament to how much people love Gustavo's food. If you've ever had his mummy shrimp, you know what we're talking about. And today, Gustavo is gonna share the secrets to how to make them, plus a taco that takes days to make. It's something you can make too when you learn the secrets. So what do you say we get cooking? Help me welcome to the stage, Gustavo Reyes. Thank you. That's it, then. Thank you. Come on over here, Gustavo. Great to see you. Good to see you. I see you all the time. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's no Gustavo's secret. Gustavo's pretty much in my backyard, so yeah. I, I, I view him as kind of like my personal chef. I think I eat at his place <laughs> yeah. more than I eat at my own house. It's true, yeah. actually. Yes. It's great to have you on the show. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm happy to be here. Tim, you've been to Gustavo's many times. Oh, many times. And I'll tell you what, uh, the margaritas, you can't beat them. But I'll tell you what, I love the beer. It's phenomenal. It has a little hint of jalapeno. Yes. It's a... Uh, a great beer. I come with the idea uh, three or four years ago, and it's been really, really good. Well, let's talk about, as we start to jump into the cooking here, um, kind of how you got involved in doing Mexican cuisine and how Gustavo's came about. Yes, uh, I started in 1999 in a restaurant in Nicholasville, and I was a dishwasher, and uh, I started, and I love the kitchen, and uh, I have 24 years experience in food and in, 2000, in 2004 I decided to open my first restaurant with another company and 2010 I started Gustavo's Mexican Grill in Crestwood. Uh, now I have five locations in Crestwood, Lagrange, Prospect, Norton Commons and Horseman and I have plans to open one location too in Old Henry Road. Okay, wow. Keeps on growing. I want the folks watching at home, the dishwashers who are out there, just like Gustavo, you too can have your own empire if you work hard. And that's yes. been the key. Oh, yes, of course. It's a lot of work. Yeah. You're there all the time. All the time. I work five, six days a week. Yes. All right. Well, what are we making first? Uh, today, we're going to make a mommy wrap shrimp. It's a dish. Uh, me and my sister, we created this dish in 2010, and it's been uh, great. Uh, we sell a lot of a lot of mommy wrap shrimp and Gustavo's Mexican Grill, and it's um, shrimp and a slide of jalapeno and wrapped in bacon. Okay. And comes with the uh, chipotle sauce, and it's it's the best. It's yes. popular. <laughs> uh, it's very popular. Yeah. Um, it's just a fresh uh, shrimp. Um, we cut it in the middle, and we put. Um, a slide of jalapeno. Okay. Oh, nice. I was see, wondering. I always view jalapeno as just like the yeah. rings. You know, that's the secret because yeah. you never see the jalapeno because it's wrapped in the bacon. I always yes. wondered what that hint was. There's a secret right there. Yeah. Here comes the mummy part. Yeah. Yep. Is the bacon? Oh. And we wrap the bacon around the shrimp. That's good. I'll tell you, and what a combination between the bacon and shrimp. You get a little bit of that salt and the sweetness from the shrimp. And then a little heat and a little, from that jalapeno. Kick from the jalapeno. 
That's when you reach for the uh, Vida de Reyes uh, beer, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> After one bite, it goes good. <laughs> It's right. a great pairing. And that is something easy to do. That's something anybody could do at home. You slice the shrimp, that, uh, you make mm -hmm. that look uh, easy, and then you just kind of wrap it up. And then how do we cook this? Uh, we cook uh, the shrimp and the grill uh, with butter. and um, Oh, butter. Yes. <laughs> we needed to add that element. Yeah, I was wondering. Uh -huh. Start with the hot pan. Yes. We're going to put the... The butter. Is that the yes. Looks like it's clarified butter uh -huh. where it's going to have a higher smoke point where you take the fat off the butter, which is another secret. That explains why my fire alarm goes uh -huh. off when I try to cook. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's not clarified. I, I mean, we're letting all the secrets come out today. I'm yeah. not even kidding about that. I'm like, yeah. oh gosh, the smoke again. Yeah, the firemen know right where your house is. <laughs> yeah. oh, Kevin's cooking again. I'm just like, take the stove. Yeah. I don't need it. We're going to put the Gustavo season. Now, what is in that's, that? It's a secret. It's a... Well, that's oh. what... We, you're on the show yeah. to share the secret. Uh, this yeah. is... Um, Come on, Colonel Sanders. What's in that? <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a season. Yeah. <laughs> it's a season we're making Gustavo's. It's got garlic, uh, black pepper, um, uh, season it, and... Um, and a few other and things. Solid. <laughs> and the secret Gustavo's. Yeah. All right. Well, that won't take long to cook. I didn't know how, how exactly uh, these would be fried up, but the butter, uh, that's a nice touch. And then, of course, uh, it doesn't take long for bacon or shrimp to cook. So oh. this is something that you can make fast. Uh, yeah. Tim, this would make a great like appetizer. Great I see appetizer. You. you know what you could do is wrap these ahead of time, keep them in the refrigerator, and then uh, right before your guests come over, fire them up on yeah. a grill or a pan, boom. That's a great idea. Oh, this is great for the grill, too. Outside, oh, yeah. you know, yes. boom. Perfect in summer. Right. Yes. And you all, speaking of, you know, we're talking appetizers, but you all do a lot of catering, too. Oh, yes, we do a lot of catering. Um, we have, you know, any of Gustavo's, you can place your order, and we do delivery and do the setup for private parties, big events. And I think, um, Folks here, have you been to Gustavo's? How many folks have been? Oh wow, a lot of people. Um, what I love most about Gustavo's is the friendly staff. Yes. I think people talk about it all the time. The food is always excellent. The staff is always friendly. Yes, we have a wonderful team, uh, good people, uh, hard workers and always friendly. Uh, we are a family restaurant and we treat everybody like a family. And by the way, not only a great tequila selection, but you also have a big bourbon selection. I mean, you know exactly we're in Kentucky, yes. so uh, you can get some taste of great tequilas, which by the way, that category is on fire. People are really uh, discovering some really nice, fine tequilas now. And, uh, but again, your, your bar is full of uh, all kinds of fun things. Well, I see these are uh, firing up nicely. Yeah, it's ready to cook. Um, it takes only like three, four, five minutes to cook. Right. Uh, it's shrimp and bacon and gray uh, dish. Um, comes with chipotle sauce and okay. yeah, it's, it's the best. It smells delicious, yeah. I know that. And that's another thing about the menu. You mentioned how large it is. I, I'm a creature of habit. I get the same thing every time. Um, but there are tons of exciting things on the menu, oh. from steak to the seafood, like shrimp, lots of shrimp. Boom. All right. There it, it is. is. Is that the finished product right there? Mummy shrimp. Also, our audience gets to taste a little bit of this. Yeah, give it up for Gustavo Reyes. Thank you. Thank you. We're not finished, though. You may have just learned how to uh, make the uh, jalapeno mummy-wrapped uh, shrimp, uh, shrimp, but what's coming up next? Uh, next on uh, the show, uh, we're going to make the tacos al pastor for everybody. All right, you're going to have a chance to see that when we come back on Secrets of Bluegrass Chef. Stay with us. Make food service easier with help from Dine Company, the restaurant store. If you prep, cook, or serve food, we serve you. Shop Louisville's largest selection of new and used food equipment and smallwares in store or online at dinecompany.com. Experience the difference our people make at Dine Company, family owned and operated since 1982. 
authentic Mexican cuisine at Gustavo's with five locations, including one on Hurstbourne Parkway. It's food that goes way beyond burritos and tacos with everything from sizzling fajitas to seafood. The bar is stocked with bourbon and one of the best selections of tequila in the area and Gustavo's own Vida de Reyes Mexican Lager with a hint of jalapeno. Taste and feel the authenticity at Gustavo's Mexican Grill in Crestwood, LaGrange, Prospect, Norton Commons, and now on Hurstbourne. Open every day for lunch and dinner. Gustavo's Mexican Grill. Zooker is the free app to find great deals to local restaurants and merchants. Find coupons, join local businesses' loyalty clubs, and play games right from your mobile phone. Save big at local merchants like Gustavo's Mexican Grill, The Manhattan Project, Maui Whitening, and many more. Help support local businesses while you save money. Check out all the great deals on Zooker. Download Zooker and start saving big today. X-O-O-K-E-R. Zooker. Tim Lair back with you, and it's time now to head out on the Secrets of Bluegrass Chef's cocktail tour. This time, we're at River House Restaurant and Raw Bar, home of Chef John Veronese, who serves fresh seafood that's loaded with southern accents. From smoked oysters to fresh lobster and his salmon that's cooked on a real bourbon barrel stave. And behind the bar, Virginia Alexander is always coming up with creative drinks to enjoy with your Riverside meal. Virginia, what are you gonna make for us this time? So today we're gonna be making a high dive. Um, it's a cantaloupe puree with some lemon juice, monk's road gin, and a little bit of aloe liqueur. Wow. So we're gonna start with two ounces of our cantaloupe puree just cantaloupe broken down, put into a nice high-powered blender and strained. Next, we're gonna do a quarter ounce of lemon juice, one ounce of our aloe liqueur. Kind of the secret ingredient to this cocktail. Then we need a nice ounce and a half of Monk's Road Gin. That aloe liqueur really brings out the nice citrus notes in Monk's Road. Citrusy flavor to it that's exactly. great for cocktails. Have the rim done with a citrus salt, and on top, a nice ripe piece of cantaloupe. Beautiful garnish. Look at that cocktail. That looks absolutely great. But I'll tell you what, I gotta see how it tastes, Virginia. That is downtown Triple Crown at <laughs> its best. This is fantastic. <laughs> Cheers to a great cocktail. Cheers. The Secrets of Bluegrass Chef's Cocktail Tour is presented by The Amp at Log Still Distillery. Savor seasonal food and fine wine on Frankfurt Avenue at Veronese with live jazz seven days a week. Cocktails, dinner, and private events. Late night dining, too. The place to be is at the V. Veronese on Frankfurt Avenue. Stop chasing your dog with a toothbrush. Use Pet Silver Teeth and Gum Spray, the natural solution for your pet's oral health and funky pet breath. Get Pet Silver online at PetSilver.com. from the Kitchen Theater here at Paris Town. I've made my way over to the PNC Bank Tasting Table. Great group of folks here, and everybody's got a clean plate except for JW, and really you have a clean plate, but I gave you a new one here so you can uh, so you can really dive in and give us a taste. I, uh, I, I, in fact, take the taste because I want folks to see sort of uh, that reaction on your face because it's not always just about the taste itself and how you're going to describe it. Sometimes it's about that look that kick 
it is uh, really good. I'm going to let you chew that up, and while we do that, uh, I'm going to just kind of go around. Uh, Jim, I know we have the uh, Vita de Reyes here, the beer. How was it? It was very good. Just a little hint of jalapeno. Yeah. Very nice. And you can right. taste it. Yeah, you can taste it. It's very little, but it's but, great. But it's not too much, even for folks that don't like a lot of heat. It's like, just right. I took a picture of it. I'm going to buy some more. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right, JW, back to you. How was the mummy-wrapped shrimp? Wonderful. The bacon was crispy, the shrimp was tender, just that little hint of jalapeno, but the sauce, I want to know what the sauce is all about. Now see, that's, uh, that again, that, the, the, many times while the food can be amazing in itself, sometimes it is the sauce that just really kicks it up even a notch higher. Yes, for me. All right, well appreciate that, thank you. Sure. All right, uh, we're gonna take a quick break, but when we come back, we've got so much more with Gustavo Reyes from Gustavo's on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. Zucker is spotlighting local restaurants. Download the free Zucker app and save at hundreds of local businesses right from your mobile phone. Here's today's local spotlight restaurant. Hi, I'm Eric. This is my dad, Kevin. We're the owners here at the Manhattan Project in Louisville, Kentucky. Start your meal off with one of our amazing appetizers, like our pork carnitas nachos. Dig in to one of our massive specialty burgers, like our pimento smash burger or our PB&J burger. And you can't go wrong with our build your own mac and cheese. We offer dine-in, carry-out, and catering for any of your special events. If you're looking for some delicious food, ice-cold drinks, and a great time, come see us here at the Manhattan Project. Go to the Deal Marketplace section of the free Zucker app, select their deal, and save. Purchase the deal and save 50% while knowing you're helping a local restaurant. While on the Zucker app, join their VIP loyalty club and receive exclusive offers via email and text message. X-O-O-K-E-R Zucker Download Zucker and start saving big today I'm Natalie Reese, the owner of Cooking at Millie's We bring in local chefs from restaurants all around Louisville to walk you through a three course meal It's a fun evening of you making dinner, eating, and learning a few things while drinking a glass of wine We would love for you to join us one evening Cooking at Millie's is for everyone, you know, bring a friend, bring your significant other, bring whoever you want. Just have a great dinner and a great night out. Olive oil is an essential part of a healthy, low cholesterol diet, and it comes in all flavors at Z Olive, home to the finest extra virgin olive oils from around the world. And you can try all of them before you buy. Z Olive also has a wide variety of fine balsamic vinegars. Great locale flavorings for everything from ice cream to steaks, marinades, and glazes. Z Olive makes the perfect gift, or make it your secret ingredient. Taste the finest at Z Olive in Westport Village. Kevin Harnett back with you on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs, and right now it's time for another Wine Find with John Johnson at the Wine Rack. Well, Kevin, this time we have two wines from South Africa. In addition to being the eighth largest wine producing country in the world, South Africa also boasts some of the most beautiful vineyard land anywhere on the planet. Uh, this time we have two, uh, one white, one red, of course. And the white is, uh, is a fun one, comes with an interesting story. Uh, this is from Fairview. And Fairview, in addition to being uh, a vineyard uh, property, is also a farm and they raised goats, and the goats got out of the field, got into the vineyards, ate all the best grapes. And so, in naming the winery, just the name Goats to Rome stuck, it's also a play on words for Cote de Rhone. And they grow a lot of Rhone-style varietals uh, in South Africa, and they do at Fairview as well. This is a fantastic wine for spring and summer. It just screams summer out of the glass. You've got nice floral notes to it. Uh, you've got zesty lime and peach. Very refreshing, just a tiny bit off dry, so not really sweet, but just a little, little tiny perception of sweetness and a lot of intense fruit. The red that we have is a little bit more serious. This is from Babylon Storin. Their vineyards are all certified organic. Uh, this red that they call Babel is one of their blends. Babel is made up from actually Rhone style varietals and Bordeaux varietals. It's Shiraz, it's Cabernet Sauvignon, it's Cab Franc. Merlot, and a little bit of a grape called Pinotage. I love the way this wine comes across. Aromatically, uh, you get a lot of like dense, jammy blackberry, 
uh, red raspberry fruit notes coming out of the glass, uh, as well as a good amount of spice. Goes ideally with anything from steaks, burgers off the grill. Also, don't be afraid to pair it up next to some barbecue. This wine is $17.99. Uh, the white wine that we had, uh, the Goat's Jerome White, is $11.99 at the Wine Rack. Come see these other South African wines we have here at the Wine Rack. Cheers. Thanks, John. Stick around. We have more Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs coming up. The Wine Rack, bringing you wines, beers, spirits, and cheeses of the world for over 18 years. Local, independent, and now offering delivery from the heart of Crescent Hill and online at wineshoplouisville.com. Explore Kentucky in style with Mint Julep Tours. Experiences for all your senses. Bourbon distilleries, horse country, Kentucky breweries and wineries. Culinary tours with special access to secrets of bluegrass chefs. Hassle-free fun for any size group, including corporate excursions and exclusive behind-the-scenes experiences crafted just for you. Mint Julep Tours, where the purpose of fun is to have some. River House Restaurant and Raw Bar, now open for lunch and dinner seven days a week. Featuring the cuisine of Chef John Veronese with a Southern-inspired menu and an emphasis on seafood with a spectacular raw bar. River House, right next to the water tower at 3015 River Road. Reservations recommended. Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. I'm Tim Laird in our kitchen theater at Paris Town. There's always something happening here from festivals on the lawn to great food in the cafe and now also in Paris Town's Village Market, a collection of independent restaurants all under one roof. Paris Town is also home to our Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs kitchen theater where this time we're cooking with Gustavo Reyes from Gustavo's Mexican Grill. Hello Gustavo. Hello. Hey, by the way, during the commercial break, I happened to uh, try a little bit of the uh, Via de Reyes. Yes. And I'll tell you what, this is delicious. Thank I'm you. telling you, it is good. And not only do you serve it in the cans, but also you have it on draft at Gustavo's. And yes. you can buy some to go, right? Yes, uh, we are in Toro Wine and uh, Capo Liquor stores around Lugo area. Okay. Yes. Well, the, the beer is one thing, the food is a whole nother. You guys had a chance to take a taste of the mummy shrimp, good? All right, we are moving on to the uh, next dish. This is called tacos al pastor. Tell us what that means. Uh, tacos al pastor is uh, pork. It's marinade overnight uh, with dried chilies. We make a special sauce in Gustavo's and um, it's uh, guajillo peppers and spices, garlic, uh, cumin, and um, we make all the recipes in the restaurant and pastor is a uh, very um, uh, authentic uh, dish from Mexico, very popular. It's pork and marinade overnight with um, guajillo sauce. Okay, yeah. so it marinates overnight. This is not something you can just do in an instant. Oh, no, it enhances the color of this. Yeah. I mean, look at the, look it's, at the vibrant. It's um, red and um, it's have a really great flavor. It's got some uh, pineapple too, um, and it's a perfect dish. Um, um, we make uh, pastor tacos in Gustavo's okay. Mexican Grill, and it's a great uh, dish. Well, you were talking about family recipes. You and your sister came up with the mummy shrimp. This is authentic and, uh, you know, w from home for you. And tell, tell me and everybody that's watching, what is it that makes Gustavo's different than all of the other Mexican restaurants out there? Because there's a lot of them. Oh, yes. Uh, in Gustavo's, we, we use the highest quality ingredients and uh, good foods, uh, fresh, always fresh, uh, never frozen, uh, ground beef and steak and shrimp and chicken. Um, and we buy the best qualities in, in the area. Yeah, yes. and Tim, we know that's so important, oh. even with like the Kentucky Proud relationships that so many of the uh, chefs have, that freshness just matters. You say it all the time in it, cocktails. It, it, absolutely, I'll tell you what, and they do a great cocktail program there too, beyond margaritas, I mean, it's phenomenal. And you know, one thing about it too is, each Gustavo's has its own kind of unique <laughs> flavor to it because it's beautiful decorated. I mean, all the uh, decorations and decor is just, it's beautiful. 
beautiful. It's a great place. So I, I love visiting each one just to see how different it is, and it's so authentic. It, it, it's almost like you're walking into somewhere in Mexico. It's just beautiful. Yeah. The murals, yeah. the tree oh, and the yeah. one on Hearst Barn. Yeah, yeah. there's no bell there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's jump in. Tacos al pastor. Tacos uh, al pastor. Get us started. Tell okay. us what. We're going to make a taco. Um, it's the, the pork. So, of course, we have the pork, the pineapple. Anything else in that? Um, it's the spices. Okay. There you go. The secret spices the again? The secret spices. Uh, okay. Yes. <laughs> we put the onions. All right. The cilantro. Cilantro. Yes. And uh, a special sauce we make in Gustavo's is avocados with jalapeno. Oh, so it's got a creaminess and yes. with a little kick. We put the jalapeno. There it is. <laughs> everything, I don't know if you, you must be a huge fan of jalapenos, Gustavo. Everything you have has jalapenos in yes. even your beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that. How beautiful is that dish? Oh, my gosh, it's great. The Tacos Al Pastor right there, everybody. You make it look easy because we sort of just assembled that, but talk about coming up with some of these recipes. Um, like, take us back to where you grew up and how your taste for food sort of developed to say, that's the way it's supposed to be, that's authentic. Yes, um, we come with the recipes from my family and I grew in my house, my mom always cooked fresh. And, um, you know, I come in 1999 and I start working in a restaurant and I love the kitchen, and I start the kitchen and learning the kitchen, and I have a lot of experience in kitchen for a long time, and um, I come to be a server, and um, me and my sister, we work together behind the kitchen, uh, sharing ideas and working with different people, and uh, always looking for the best recipes. And that's what's neat about it. There's always something fresh at Gustavo's. Their, their menu changes, it, it keeps is. up track through time and always something new. But the standbys are always available, like the mummy shrimp and the tacos al pastor. Yes. Oh, yeah, you can't it. take that off the menu, right? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. All right, Gustavo, folks that are looking to uh, find you, you have the uh, five locations, uh, pretty easy to find online too. Oh, yes. Please uh, check it out and check in, in line, gustavosmexicangrill.com. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. All right. Yes. Give it up for Gustavo one more time, everybody. Thank you for being here. We appreciate that. We are going to say goodbye for now, but I hope you'll tune in another time on Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs. And if you want to be a part of the studio audience, was it fun? Yeah. You can do it too by logging on to mintjuleptours.com. For Tim Laird, I'm Kevin Harned. We'll say goodbye for now, but we'll see you again soon. Goodbye, everybody. like that. If you like Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs on TV, you'll love to see it in person. Great time. Fabulous. Join us at the Secrets Kitchen Theater in Louisville's historic Paris town. This is a great experience. I love that. Watch top chefs reveal their secrets. And I don't really hold back on this stuff. Mm. And then taste everything they make. I love this. Delicious. You can also enjoy all the other fun and shopping Paris Town has to offer while you're there. We had a really good time. Get your tickets now online at mintjuleptours.com. And hurry, because space is limited. This is so good and so popular. Watch Secrets of Bluegrass Chefs on TV and see it in person by going to mintjuleptours.com. It was outstanding. Make your reservations today. Still cooking. Appreciate you sharing the secrets. Make food 
service easier with help from Dine Company, the restaurant store. If you prep, cook, or serve food, we serve you. Shop Louisville's largest selection of new and used food equipment and smallwares in store or online at dinecompany.com. Experience the difference our people make at Dine Company, family owned and operated since 1982. Explore Kentucky in style with Mint Julep Tours. Experiences for all your senses. Bourbon distilleries, horse country, Kentucky breweries and wineries. Culinary tours with special access to secrets of bluegrass chefs. Hassle-free fun for any size group, including corporate excursions and exclusive behind-the-scenes experiences crafted just for you. Mint Julep Tours, where the purpose of fun is to have some.